morning. I at Shivaji Group of Institutions welcome you all with the video lecture class. Today I am before you with the greater portion and the class is for 9 ICC board and I am before you with the portion and new topic that is for you a story that is an old man at the bridge. Old man at the bridge. It's written by Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway is an American writer. So student, first we will talk something about the writer, then after we just talk this short story and the introduction and what was really in that story. We have seen that many more uh, chapters have been reduced from the syllabus. So the uh, first poem, the heart of the tree that you have read, that was skipped, that was reduced, so that will not come in your exam. So I taught you the cold within. The cold within poem was really very suggestive and impressive poem. It was really very really inspirational poem. And in this poem, we came to know that we people have some inborn qualities like we must be human. We should not leave our human qualities because human are known for his traits, his virtues, his good qualities, his generosity and his kindness. If we don't have all these things, so we are not human. We are uh, worse than animals. Because what is the difference between animals and humans? Humans are living beings in the same way animals are also living beings. But a major difference between them is that animals don't have traits and virtues and uh, don't have the way of understanding the feeling or the passion for one another. But the human beings must have all these things. And if you are not having all these things, so you are like animal. You are not more than animals. So that was the gist of that poem uh, for, uh, after reading or after getting through this poem we came to know uh, the feeling of generosity, kindness and we must be kind hearted at all we came to know. So student I hope so that you have got that poem very well because I taught you three or four lectures and also discussed with you the PDF uh, uh, of book exercise and I, I have also sent it to you. And one more thing I gave you, two uh, question answer I gave you as a homework. That was your assignment. So you have to do all two questions on your fair register. You have to write the answer of those questions by yourself. Don't copy from your YouTube channel or, uh, or anywhere else. Because uh, you have to give your own ideas. You have to give your own point of view, your own opinion. Because the question was really up to the mark. Because it was asking in that form that is it uh, the poem relevant in today's scenario? Is it relevant in present era? So that's why you have to think uh, deeply. You have to ponder over the things. Is it true in present era? We must be like this. So this is about that poem, the gold within. So one poem is completed. You have to uh, read it uh, carefully because only that poem come will you will in your UT second exam. So today I am before you with a uh, short story. This is uh, number two story because the chief Seattle story that I taught you that was uh, skipped from your syllabus. That was a uh, uh, that story is in your reduced syllabus. So you need not to study that story that will come in your tenth exam. It means uh, in the tenth exam, in class ten, you will have to read the whole syllabus, class nine syllabus as well as the class ten syllabus. So, student, this is the first story in the book. This is the second number, but this is the first story for you. So, the old man at the bridge is written by Ernest Hyman. So, let's see about the uh, writer, about uh, the poet and the play writer and the short story writer, which type of the poet is. So, if you talk about the Ernest Hemingway, Ernest Hemingway, July 21, 1899 and 1961. So, it was the lifespan of him. He was born on 21st July, 1899. And 1961. So we can say that he belonged to uh, late Victorian age and starting of the modern age. Fine. Was an American novelist. 
novelist. He was a novelist, American novelist, short story writer and journalist and playwright and journalist also. So this was the quality. He was a writer, he was a short story writer, he was a, a novelist also and some plays he has also written like this. His economical and understated style has a strong influence on 20th century fiction. So he was a uh, he was having some economical problem and uh, the style of understanding the thing that that type of the impact we can see in his uh, short story in his novels in his works so student this is the reality that we can get the experience of particular person on his work because literature always shows you the happenings on or the reality of that time because literature is a mirror of the society so whatever uh, the economical condition of uh, Ernest Hemingway's way and what was uh, his style of writing what was his uh, pitiable condition so we can see in his works and why his life of adventure and his public image influenced later generation and some type of the adventurous, it means daring task he did. So we can uh, get uh, the glimpse of his adventurous uh, things um, in his plays and in his novels. Hemingway produced most of his work between the mid 1920s and mid 1950s. So uh, a lot of the portion of his work was published uh, at uh, 90s, 1920 to 1950. This was the this was the period of. Uh, Ernest Hemingway's publication. He won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954. This is really a notable thing for you that his writing was really super, very unique writing, and he really got a Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954. He published seven novels and uh, six short stories collection and two non fiction works. Seven novels he has written, two short stories collection, and two non fiction works additional works, including three novels, four stories, short collection and three non-fiction works were published posthumously. So after his death, he, 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 these types of the novel, short story and two non-fiction works, these were published after his death. The Old Man and the Sea is considered a classic of American literature. So if we talk about the particular story that is written before you, are Old Man and the Bridge, so this the story is particularly based on the classic literature of the classic literature of America. It denotes, it points out something about the literature of uh, America. Classic literature, classical things has been described through this uh, story, through this uh, the writing of Ernest Hemingway. So this is about uh, the author, this is about the story writer who has written this thing before you. And I hope so that you have worked very well now. We will uh, discuss something about the theme, about the introduction, of, about the background of the story, in which notion it was written. So if we talk about the stories, so the story would be in the which is about a conversation between a uh, soldier and an old man who had to leave his hometown during the Spanish Civil War. So the particular story that was written in 1960s, it was written in the middle of the 1960s. So, it was a time of the Spanish Civil War, if we talk about it. Uh, so, here we found an old man left his town. The first character that we found here, the old man, and he left his town because of the Spanish Civil War. And due to the Spanish Civil War, it was, it was happening at that time, it was uh, uh, occurring at that time, so that is why he left his hometown. This, this was the main reason of leaving his hometown. And he arrives at the bridge and says Ronix. And what was the happen? So we, we came to know, we saw that the, in the particular story, there is a conversation between, between whom? Between a old man who was found at the bridge and a soldier. A soldier is a narrator also. Fine. So there is a conversation between them. And it was a, it was a Spanish uh, civil war. An old man with spectacles sat, exhausted by the side of the road near a near a pantoon bridge that crossed the river. So he was uh, he was sitting at the pantoon uh, 
at the river at the pantoon bridge that that was uh, that was side of river, side of by the river and he was looking very exhausted exhausted means uh, badly tired he was looking very he was looking badly tired at that time why because he came from far place he was uh, he came from far place no convenience at all he was coming by walking and moving at all Fine. Right. So the soldiers got engaged conversation with the old man. During the conversation, he came to know that the old man was worried about the animal that he had left behind. So let's see that he arrives at the bridge and sits on it. So he was because of the Spanish Civil War, he left his hometown and he came there. And uh, after coming there, he sat on the bridge that was across the river. Then after the soldiers came there, he was a narrator of the story, and he started talking with him. He started to him. He started doing some conversation between him, and he he was just asking the question to him, why was he here? Why was he sitting here? What was the reason behind behind uh, of sitting there? What was the reason there? So the thing is that the narrator talks to him, and he is he is worried about the animals. So he he is saying that why you are so he is he is replying that I am here just because of the Spanish Civil War because of the uh, some chaos and some disturbance at all that's why I left that place and I came here and I am sitting here because because I am greatly tired I am badly tired over here so the thing is that narrator is asking about him but the old man who was sitting at the bridge he was worried about his animal that he left there. about animals okay the old man told the soldiers that he had the charge of two goats he was having two goats a cat and four pairs of pigeons these are so these types of the animals that he was uh, keeping at uh, his home town and he left them he sat that the captain had told him to leave the town and the animals because of artillery fire because there was a uh, there was a time of uh, uh war uh, some some people uh, wanted to attack at that time they uh, maybe uh, maybe artillery fire that's why so the thing was that that's why i left because of some danger zone because of some red zone i left that place so the thing is that i had no family i had uh, no member in my family i am alone but he expressed concern about what would happen to his animals So he's saying over here is he's caught he's really uh, very cautious about uh, his animals that he left there and uh, how how many animals two goats a cat and pair of pigeons. He said that the cat would be all right because cat would look after themselves. So we can see that uh, the narrator thinks about the safety of the old man, but the old man thinks about the safety of his goat. So. the uh, see the pathetic scene and uh, the concern about the animals the old man who was really in pitiable and miserable condition he was so exhausted he was too exhausted to move a little bit fine so the thing is that soldiers was worried about him that soldier who was a narrator of the story is really worried about him that he want to hold to move uh, any longer but the old man who was in such a uh, pitiable condition who was worried about his animals two goats and he is just uh, describing here of the notion that uh, cat the cat who can uh, it can look after itself because he, it can do cats can do but it did not know what about happen to his other animal two goats and pair, pair of pigeons what will happen cat cat can um, cat can do care of uh, itself she can do but what about the other other animals which i left over there see the soldier was concerned about the old man's safety whereas the old man was concerned about the safety of his animal the he told the soldiers that he was an old man of 76 so he is elaborating here he is describing here that he is a man of 76 year old and had come from 12 kilometers and was too tired to walk up the road and catch a ride on a truck of barcelona so there was a truck that was going to barcelona but he was not able 
to uh, got in uh, in that truck because he was not able to move at that time. He is saying that I am seventy six year old and came from far place that was twelve kilometers away. And uh, the old man thanked the soldier for his concern for his safety, but he continued to express concern about the fate of the animals. So he was just obliging. Um, to see he was just obliged to our uh, soldiers and he was saying I, i must be thankful to you i must be grateful to you for your uh, for your concern for your caring for me because you are to concern for me you are very, very much concerned about me about uh, for my safety for uh, for all the things that you did you talked to me a lot you did a good conversation between me but the old man is really concerned about uh, the animals that he left in his own town so the fate of animals that he had left behind the old man could not get rid of the thought and the safety of his animals so he was continue uh, ponder over the things over uh, the animals that he kept in his own time he was not uh, able to get rid of uh, his uh, thoughts in the end the story felt pity for him and thought in the end at the end of the story we feel pity for him and his thought there was nothing to do about it nothing was left the soldier the soldiers the, who is a narrator in the story he had nothing to do with that old man he was helpless to uh, do anything for old man in fact the story deals with the theme of depression and the impending death so uh, through this story uh, we see the uh, some depression some uh, disappointment and uh, gloomy and melancholy all these things we, we are uh, finding in this story if we talk about the plot of the story so the story is uh, written in 1960 and at the time of the spanish civil war and an old man who arrives at the bridge and the narrator talks to him and he was cautious about the old man old man help but he was cautious about the animal the narrator thinks about the safety of the old man but the old man uh, man thinks about the safety of his goods but the narrator is worried about the safety of the old man at the bridge if the vessels will be launch their plans any time because because at the time of the spanish civil war so any time enemy can enemy may attack on him that's why he was very worried about the safety the old man tells him that he Uh, the cats will be all right cats will be all right and they can uh, care themselves because cat can look after themselves he is worried about the other animal other animals is two goats and a uh, pair of pigeons so student we see, uh, we have seen that this story uh, is particularly uh, depend upon the feeling and the passion of the resignation depression and impending death the old man who engages himself in conversation with the soldiers is a fatalistic hero of the story who is resigned to his fate as a casualty of the war so we have seen that old man who is really considered the hero of the story because the whole story and the gist of the story the central theme of the story is really based on his thoughts his feeling that was going on into his mind so uh, the story shows in pending death depression and the gloominess So, student, this is uh, the gist and introduction of the story. It was, uh, we came to know about the author and about uh, some gist of the story, and that story will be continued in next video class. I hope so that you have got it. Keep uh, keep uh, safe uh, at your home and try to pay attention uh, towards your study because it's very precious time for you. That is enough for you today. Thank you, and have a nice day to one you all.